Hey, I'm Grant with Marine Max in Jacksonville, and today we're on Scout's 235 XSF. First thing that you're always going to notice about the Scouts is just how beautiful of a boat they are. Their fit and finish work, uh, their attention to detail is just great. We'll start back here in the back. This has got the 254 stroke Yamaha on it. And talking about the, just the beauty and the attention to detail, look at the beautiful bracket. I mean, even something as little as that that Scout pays attention to, uh, where your motor is hanging back there, that huge piece of stainless steel back there. Beautiful uh, teak decking on your swim platform. Nice ladder that's, that's flush with the deck back here so that you don't have a trip hazard. Makes that real nice. We've got a boarding door over on the starboard side. Pop-up cleats all around the boat. Really nice. Four rod holders across the back. This particular 235 has got a raw water wash down on it right here also. And as you step into the cockpit, uh, Scout always tries to give some comfortable seating when you're heading out to your fishing grounds or if you're just uh, taking the boat out for a day for cruising. So look at this nice pull-out seat on the back. Lots of support on the, your uh, thighs right here. Comes well out there. Comes high enough up in your back too, so it gives you plenty of back support there. Easy to put away. Heavy duty hardware too. Look at the size of this stainless steel brackets that are on here. This is the kind of stuff that you just don't see on some of the inexpensive competition that's out there. Beautiful gutter system here on the floor that's gonna run your uh, water that comes into the cockpit, run it overboard. Live well on the port, hand, port side of the boat with a uh, plexi glass top on it so you can see, make sure your bait is doing okay down inside there. Recirculating live well so it's always putting cool oxygenated water into the live well. Four shotgun rod holders on the back of this leaning post. And as we come forward, you've got flip up thigh rise on your double wide helm seat here. So it's nice and comfortable to stand up. Tilt your steering wheel down, or if you want to hop up on top of the seat, you can get up on top of it right there. Your Garmin Electronics from the factory already flush mounted in there. Look how beautifully uh, that's put into the dash there. Little glove box, put your car keys, your wallet, maybe a hat, that kind of stuff. Always got to have a couple of drink holders up here. Some chargers for your cell phone, put your cell phone up there on the dash. I want you to take a look at the T-top on this boat too. This is a gorgeous T-top on here. The, the finish work, the molding, everything on it, the color, how it's made particularly for this boat, how it's inlaid in with the console so it's not a pole out here taking up your walkthrough space going down this lane right here. Uh, they do a beautiful work with their T-top. This particular boat, uh, you can get ahead in it. We didn't order it in this one, but if you'd like to add it, there's certainly enough room in there to put that. Look at how high the combing bolsters are. It's coming nice and high up my thighs right here. So if you're fishing over the side, you've got plenty of support when you're leaning up against the side of the boat. Going back to uh, this not just being a, a fishing boat, but also a, a family friendly cruiser. Look at the nice loungers that you have up in the front of the boat. Backrest so that you can sit up here. Plenty of room to, for two people to stretch out their legs. If you're not cruising around and you're fishing and you want fishing room in the space, look at the size of that. So now is what we've got to do. Oops. Put our backrest down in there. These will go down inside of your console. Take that one out of there, put it down in there, put that cushion. And now you've got a nice fishing platform at the front of the boat. But that's a really big storage compartment for a 23 foot boat. And also, Look at how nice and wide this, this seat is here too. So two people can sit side by side on the 235 with plenty of comfort. Going up to the front of the boat, you've got a large uh, anchor locker up here. Look how much rope you can fit down in there. It's not going to be overpacked. It's not going to be crowded. Plenty of room for a 23 foot boat or plenty of anchor line. This is the Scout 235 XSF. It's at Marine Max in Jacksonville Beach. I'm Grant. Come see it today.